Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is the Orbital Observer and in weekly orbit number two we are looking at a few very interesting things. First off we have some new footage from integrated flight test number two. As you can currently see on screen NASA has given us some extra footage from the flight test from back in November. This is from their high altitude surveillance aircraft, the WB-57, if I'm not mistaken. And it is absolutely amazing, the footage that we can see here. Uh, like right now, you can see there's lots of um, tiles missing, heat shield tiles missing. But I wouldn't worry about it too much. But yeah, it just never gets old looking at this incredible machine just flying. And from the first few seconds of the footage, we can see how big the plume is from the 33 Raptor engines. But just awesome. It's a pity that all the footage from the staging and the hot staging is cut out. I don't know why, but it's sadly so. And other news from Virgin Galactic. As you can see here, there was a pin that actually fell off of the spacecraft in their latest flight. Uh, this flight was carrying four passengers without a, a astronaut um, uh, observer, we can say. Um, Virgin Galactic has said that this pin is not load bearing in any way and it doesn't affect the flight performance of the ship or the mothership in any way. Um, they said that it, it is a pin to help align uh, the mating of the two craft together but the FAA have uh, since grounded the aircraft until the investigation is concluded and until Virgin Galactic has provided some um, corrective steps to this, to resolve this issue. But the, the flight went off without a hitch, without no problems. There was no collision with the pin and the pressure vessel itself. So these four passengers had the time of their lives and had some incredible views of the earth as they went just over 80 kilometers in altitude and then came back safely down to earth and then moving on to down under we have rocket lab they successfully launched um, the four of a kind mission this was uh, a, a launch i missed in last week's weekly orbit but they successfully launched four satellites, uh, all purposed for a global positioning system and surveillance. And we had some really cool views from the state separation or the whole mission actually. And we were able to watch the first stage come down and make a soft landing in the ocean. And it was ready to be fished out by the recovery vessel. One thing interesting I noticed right after stage separation is you'll notice in just a second that right after stage separation, we can see in this 360 degree video that uh, Rocket Lab uploaded to the YouTube, and there's a slight wobble in the second stage. You can notice right now there is a slight wobble when the engine starts up. Uh, the gimbal can obviously make up for that, but I thought that was something interesting I hadn't seen. And then yesterday, SpaceX launched the PACE spacecraft successfully into orbit. What was interesting about this mission is that after uh, launch, the stage had to perform a dogleg to insert it into the correct orbit. The spacecraft has faced years and years of pushback and very nearly didn't fly at all. But several years down the line, it has successfully launched and... In a second, we will see it separate from the second stage of Starship. Not Starship, of Falcon 9, I should rather say. I'm getting ready for Starship to launch in February, hopefully. This was a return to launch site um, launch. And we can see the booster touched down successfully. Another pinpoint landing that successfully was completed. It never gets old. And the... Um, spacecraft the pace spacecraft successfully detached from the second stage a few minutes later and the mission is so far a success with the spacecraft also being power positive moving on to 
the new space shuttle. Sierra Space has been working for many years on their space plane, their cargo space plane called Tenacity. They are getting very close to actually launching this to the ISS in a, the mission called uh, CRS-2. So cargo resupply mission 2 to the ISS and it was recently uh, stacked on a vibration table to simulate the forces it will experience on liftoff and orbital insertion. We're really, we are really looking forward to seeing this, this spacecraft fly. I mean, who doesn't love a nice space plane? It's just the wow factor and the cool factor and reminding us of the shuttle era is just fantastic. What is interesting about this spacecraft is that on re-entry, it is supposed to only experience 1.5 Gs of force on re-entry. This is opposed to the approximately 3 Gs that is experienced by other spacecraft returning from orbit. So, we're looking forward to seeing this bad boy fly. And then, moving on to China. They successfully launched um, a communications uh, satellite. Um, this was for uh, the company Jilin, I think. Um, last year, they launched nine satellites into their constellation. And with this launch, they placed another 11 satellites into orbit. Uh, from what I understood, it's for their self-driving cars or something along those lines. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what comes from that. And last but not least, the Axiom 3 crew has finally returned to Earth safely. After several delays due to bad weather, bad um, conditions, they finally pushed away from the ISS uh, just earlier today. And after a few hours, um, after separa separating from the ISS, they successfully re-entered the atmosphere. We had um, good deployment of the drogue chutes, and all four of the main parachutes also deployed successfully. And as we can see here, everything went nominally. The pilots were, not the pilots, the astronauts were... Um, reporting everything was well on the way down and after a few minutes of gently floating over the ocean they softly touched down in the sea where the fast boat was waiting for them and with the recovery ship just off in the horizon and in breaking news the polaris mission which was scheduled for uh, the early 2024 has now been pushed back to no later uh, no earlier than summer of this year so we still have a few more months to wait till we see that mission fly but it'll come soon the toasty marshmallow here uh, the dragon freedom was successfully recovered by crews earlier today just just hours before this recording was made and just before we end this is the cool space picture of the week here we can see the Falcon 9 lifting off, carrying the space spacecraft all the way into the skies. Thank you so much for tuning in for this weekly orbit. My name is the Orbital Observer, and until next time, keep looking up.